this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a city named Athens. One day, when Theseus' mother was pregnant with him, she was talking to his father Aegeus about what they were going to do when he was born. Since Aegeus was the king of Athens, he had to go back and be king. So before he left, he left a sword behind a big boulder, so that way Theseus could get it when he was old enough, big enough, and strong enough. Then Aegeus left to be the king of Athens. Then, when Theseus was old enough, his mother showed him to the boulder where he could go and get the sword. And then, after he got the sword, he, could, he decided he would go and find his father. He could either go by sea or land. But sea was too easy and he wanted to be the greatest hero ever, so he went by land. On Theseus' journey to Athens, multiple bandits tried to mug him. But he triumphed over all of them. When Theseus came to Athens, his huge popularity threatened the king, Aegeus, because he thought Theseus was going to overthrow him, so he invited Theseus to come to dinner to him in an attempt to poison him and kill him so that way he would no longer feel threatened. When Theseus showed up, he drew his sword and picked up the cup to take a drink. And then Aegeus quickly stopped him from taking a sip because he recognized the sword and knew that Theseus was his son. So he invited him to sit down and they talked and reminisced. Previously, before Theseus arrived in Athens, his father, Aegeus, had gotten in an argument with the king of another country because he had essentially killed his son. Eventually, they came to an agreement that said every few years, Aegeus had to send some of his citizens to go die by the Minotaur. Theseus volunteered to be one of the sacrifices for the Minotaur. He planned to try to kill it himself. As Theseus began his venture down into the labyrinth, he slowly walked into the dark, creepy maze. He was searching for the Minotaur when suddenly he found it sleeping on the ground. He went and beat it with his bare hands, and after a long struggle, it died. He had laid a string down on the ground to, so that way he could find his way back after he had found the Minotaur. He had gotten this string with help from King Minos' daughter, who had fallen madly in love with Theseus, but who would later die on their journey home. Theseus made a really big mistake. He promised his father that he would sail a white flag whenever he returned home from killing the Minotaur, but he forgot and he accidentally sailed a black flag, and his father saw this and went into a deep depression because he thought that his son had died. In grief for his son, Aegeus tragically jumped off the side of a tower and killed himself. Theseus had heard about his father, and he resigned from royal power. Now he was only the commander-in-chief of the military. Eventually, after many other minor adventures and struggles with Phaedra, Theseus died because Achilles killed him.